what what's going on here is by pulling through here, I'm allowing air to enter into the system. Okay. Okay. And the way I've got this area set up here, what it's doing is it's creating these small microscopic bubbles. You only need to kind of advance it and see a little bit. Alright. Now, let's slow this down. If the sun was coming through, you'd be able to see a lot easier. You see those little pinhead sized bubbles yeah, through there? Yeah, Okay. What you don't see is those are in suspension above this. Okay. What's going on is called a phase separation. Okay. And as you step on the throttle more and more, more of these are being pulled in. Because the vacuum increases. Right. Okay. Well, it well, changes. It alters. Oh. But I put the throttle. Watch it happen so that can right. change. Watch those small bubbles disappear. And watch these stop. Watch. Okay. Right. Those away from the back. Yeah. Watch them. So it changes? Yes. All right. All right. Through this phase separation on this pan pending design, what's going on is actually the, the bubbles are being both down about a thousand times smaller. They're almost a nano size. Okay. Wow. You don't even see it. Okay. And then all the engine sees is nano size particles going in. And what it does is when when the fuel begins to ignite, it separates the box between the hydrogen and the oxygen. Okay. So I can actually, without going through electrolysis, cause the water to burn. Without going through it, though. Without going through it, though. Okay. okay, so that's better. Well, could be. It is a good property manage. Now, here's the important thing. Okay. You watch it, and every time you step on it, you change the mano. It reappear, it disappear. If you hold up there a while, you can actually see it. You disappear for a brief stock Yeah. Okay. You're actually pulling those out of suspension, and then when that shocks again, it puts them back in. But what's going on up here is, is a total change of physics. Okay. And here's what's really impressive. Come on back here. Pull it on your tight. Pull on your tight. Hold on it for a couple seconds. All right. What do you smell? Nothing really. You know what I mean? Nothing because there's nothing coming out of the exhaust except clean exhaust. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is exhaust so cool. You do that too. You're not, I don't, I don't you you won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many exhausts could you do that to? Look, look at my hands. Not even. It's not moisture. Even. You feel the humidity in the air? Yeah. It's yeah. not even burned. Yeah. And you, you can, can actually, I can drive this thing down the road, go 10, 15 miles, come back, you can actually hold your hand on the tip of the exhaust. You won't even burn your hand. Won't burn your hand. Amazing. But the thing of it is, what's coming out the pipe? You and I can put a table here and sit down on the Humidity. ground and play cards. It's Humidity, that's basically. it. Basically. Humidity. Yeah. Smell it, Vince. What do you smell? Put your hand on it, Vince. Come on. Well, it doesn't you smell like smell vegetable, uh, and it doesn't smell like french fries okay. from the, uh... Okay, that's, uh well, there's nothing there. Okay, I exhaust. Okay. Don't touch it. By now, on a regular car, you would definitely smell that. I mean, you smell the you can't look at burger, you smell everything. Yeah. You had to be burned already. You know, you feel a little bit of moisture, but... The humidity, right. Yeah, humidity. Just when, when the fuel is completely burned up, whatever residual water is left in there reforms back to H2O. Okay. What comes out of your water is humidity. Uh, what a great technology. And this is, you can tell us, you can go from zero, you can put, step it up in increments. Like that already be a good baseline adjustment. You know, you get 360s around. Next step level will be a little bit more. And then so the, the adjustments will do what for you? Well, depending on the size of the engine, it'll, it'll increase the amount of water. You may you get to a certain point when you can't bring more water, and then you stop. So you keep adjusting and tweaking until there's a fine tuning mechanism you can get. Okay, and then once you have it adjusted, that's it. Leave it. it. Just leave it. Yeah, that's got about a thousand miles. Well, almost a thousand miles. How much more? He's probably. Three or four tablespoons. And, your fuel, and how much have you increased the fuel economy on this thing? Went from 28, 29 uh, on the highway up to 34. I'm sorry, 28, 29 was around town. I'm up to about 34 right now. Um, on the highway was 31, went up to 38. And it's coming up every tank full. I, I expect with my uh, my hydrogen peroxide and my other formula, the water methanol, probably eventually I'll be up to over 40 with it. The wire and that's highway. To do the that's highway, yeah. That's with just a simple atomizer. Yeah, simple atomizer. And the hydrogen unit will add about another 25, 30 percent on top of that. The hydrogen unit is what I saw originally. Is that right? What did I talk to Kevin about? The hydrogen unit. Talk the hydrogen unit. Yeah. Do yeah. you have one of those working already? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. I'll show you. Wow. Okay. I just want to show you how simple this no, was. No. Thank you. Yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're here to learn. Any, any gas engine can run needs one of those. So number one, you'll include, you'll, you'll put up your emissions completely. Uh, 
That'll look at 100% from you, though. And it, and it may even be more than that. Okay.